Mga tol, eto na, nahawakan ko na ang ROG Phone 8. And while these are pre-production units, papalabas na siya ngayong March 2024. And before that, I would like to share with you guys three things na nagustuhan ko about this phone. Alright, let's go! First thing na nagustuhan ko sa phone na ito is the build quality and the design. Well, parang two things siya, no? pero pag-iisahin na lang natin. It has the same screen size compared to the previous generation. Pero guys, tignan nyo, halos wala na siyang bezels tapos mas pinaliit nila yung hole punch notch. So in effect, naging mas compact yung ating ROG Phone 8 compared sa ROG Phone 7. Tapos tignan nyo yung likod. O oh, ba diba? Ang ganda! This is the ROG Phone 8 and this is the ROG Phone 8 Pro. O, oh, ba diba? Kung may kita mo sa labas, alam mo na kakaiba ang phone na to at pwedeng-pwede mo siyang ipagmalaki. It's the first time that we are seeing IP68 level water and dust resistance. It levels up the ROG phone to the level of like an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy. So para na siyang flagship phone. And speaking of flagship phones, guys, when was the last time that you saw a flagship with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And ito pa, so you have one USB Type-C port at the bottom, tapos meron ka rin USB Type-C port dito sa side. Bakit? Dahil kung gamer ka nga naman, you mostly play games on landscape mode. So in effect, hindi siya magiging sagabal habang naglalaro ka ng game habang nagcha-charge at the same time. O ba? Diba? Speaking of gaming features, you also have the air triggers. You have two air triggers at the top. You have a more premium smartphone, like I said, para na siyang flagship. Not only do you get the best performance, but also better quality hardware overall. Number two na nagustuhan ko sa ROG Phone 8 is the cameras. So, if you look at the rear camera island, ayan, napakalaki. And this means that ROG is now paying attention to camera and to content creators this camera island packs a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor a 32 megapixel telephoto lens capable of up to 3x zoom with ois tapos meron din siyang 50 megapixel flagship level sony imx 890 sensor with ois so i'm gonna try to take some samples i'm gonna try to show it to you guys para na ma-appreciate nyo yung image quality but keep in mind these are Reproduction engineering samples. Meron siyang LED screen dito. Tapos, replaceable yung switches nitong ROG Azot. So, ang price nito, na rin siya, di ba? Sa ano? Tsaka na, pwede ka mag maglaro kahit saan. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, oh. You can play. <laughs> <laughs> Yun na ba yung tag? Last but not least, the third thing that I appreciate about the ROG Phone 8 is the performance. The ROG phone has always been in the top of the food chain when it comes to Antutu rankings. It has been a performance beast. And the ROG phone 8 will definitely push the boundaries of performance. So this runs on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. And guys, the highest end ROG phone 8 will come with, guess how many gigabytes of RAM? 10? 12? No, 24 gigabytes of LPDDR 5X memory. Virtual RAM what? Guys, you can essentially load the entire Genshin Impact in memory. Ganun ka bangis ang ROG Phone 8. So guys, do you have any questions about the ROG Phone 8? Yung presyo nito, oh, I know you guys are gonna be excited, pero... We don't even know what the pricing is going to be. So, abangan natin yan sa launch which will be happening on March 7 in the Philippines. But in the meantime, drop your questions, drop your comments, 
in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And I want to thank ASUS and RG Philippines for inviting us over to their office to try the RG Phone 8. This has been Kuya Den of Tech Kuya. I'll see you guys in our next video. Paalam! Always ready. I got a hand real steady. Look me in the eye and you'll see no hezzy.